I told y'all I won't wait no more. Let's talk free agent. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk, right back, like I never left. What's up with y'all? Y'all good? Y'all good? Look, look, listen. I'm trying to restore the feeling. That's what we doing over here at CFT. You want to be a part of the cartel? You want to join the team? Hit the sub button. We getting closer to 24K. We trying to grow every day. I appreciate the love and support. But look, we ain't got time to throw timber tantrums and kick our feet and blame everybody else. That's not what we're going to do every day. At least that's not what I'm going to do every day. You're welcome to do what you want. But that's not what I'm going to do. And... You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do my thing and, 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 and stay positive as possible. Glass half full, those type of things. But I'm not here to tell nobody how to feel. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Just don't tell me how to feel. But listen, we talking free agents today. That's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to focus on. So Cowboys got, uh, let me see, over 10 free agents. I'm not going to sit here and do the, the full count for you because that would be crazy. But um the free agent list got some pretty, pretty, pretty important names on it. But it's some players that I'm okay with letting walk. So when I say, you know what I'm saying, a name, start to explain it. Write the name and, and write, let them walk in the comments. Or I want to keep them. You know what I'm saying? So let them walk in the comments or I want to keep them. I want you to just kind of let me know how you feeling. Trying to get an a, a, a understanding with how y'all feel on these free agents. First big name, that's up, Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard. Do you let them walk? Or do you want to keep them? Me? Ah, I'm in the middle. Oh, yeah. I'm in the middle. It depends on what we're trying to do with TP. Um, the Bell Cow number one running back days, to me, are over. Um, that's disrespectful, I guess you can say, because you're like, dang, what told TP do? He just ain't get it done. I need more. And as a change of pace back, as a home run hitting every once in a while back, TP was great. But as far as... The bell cow back, that's, we, we can see, they were saying it before. We can see that's not TP's thing. So if that's what he wants to do, that's what his camp wants, then you let him walk. If he wants to come back for a minimal deal since he just made 10 million, he got to come back for like three or something. We can talk. We can talk and you can keep him. Um, other than that, nah. Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore. Um, I would bring back Gilly. I would bring back Gilly. Um, you can't have quality veterans are important on your team. You can't just go all young. It, it, it ends up bad. Somebody has to be around to teach and to help out the team and to show you how to be a professional. Gilly's worth his weight in gold in that. Excellent professional playing through injuries, everything like that. Bring back Gilly, please. Now, I don't know how much Gilly would want. I feel like at this stage of career, though, you can get Gilly at a decent price. I feel like Gilly got a good Good link in with the brotherhood here. I think he would want to stay a cowboy. So you bring back Gilly. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, Tyron Smith. Yes, I bring back Ty Smith. He just came off having a almost uh, all pro year. Yeah. Tyron Smith. Crazy. Crazy to hear that. Um, but you have to continue with the strategy of no practicing and just being smart with him as a veteran. But you do, you do, you do go get a competent either swing tackle, swing tackle, like a good swing tackle. Or if you get lucky in the draft, you draft his replacement and you start doing a transition thing. But you don't have the pressure of having to start the replacement. You do one or the other. But you can't just do Tyron Smith and I'll figure it out later. Have a plan with Tyron Smith. So Tyron, yes, with an asterisk, have a plan behind him. Um, Doris Armstrong, I used to say, get rid of Doris. We don't need him. I'd bring Dorrance back. I like Dorrance as a good rotational depth piece at edge. Um, he does so many things. He plays special teams. Like, he's a multifaceted player. Dorrance ain't bad like I used to think. Now, he's not a starter. But that's not what you're looking at him as. So, as long as Dorrance is ready to play ball um, and he keeps the finances in order, yeah, I'd bring Dorrance back. But he can't be a starter. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're going to get some more edge help somewhere else, I would bring Dorrance back. J. Ron Curse. Let him walk. Although Jaron is an amazing leader, and two years ago he was everywhere on the field, I don't see it anymore. And that hurts to say because I really rock with Jaron. But 
it's over. It's over for Mr. Curse. Um, at least as a cowboy. I don't see it. I just don't see it. We bring back Quinn and he's beating the drum for it. I just, I, I don't see it no more. I don't. Uh, Y.A. Thomas needs to get some more burn. Um, Israel Mukwamu. I wanted to see other safeties. I wanted a, 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 a youth infusion at safety. Not just at linebacker because people is hurt. So if J-Ron got to let walk. Jordan Lewis, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Quality corner. Played great this year. Um, in spots, he had his moments where it wasn't too great. But I don't want to go rebuilding the entire secondary. You're getting back digs. Um, you got Deron Bland. You got Stephon Gilmore. I wouldn't mind adding a corner. But I don't want to have to add multiple corners, if that makes sense. So, yes, you bring back J. Lou. Um, I feel like he's not going to be able to dictate and ask for tons of bread. But you bring back J. Lou, you, at least on a one-year deal. Um, I would love a two-year deal. That way you can spread the money out. But bring back J. Lou. I, 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 look, I got to apologize. Talking crazy early in the year. Bring back J. Lou. Now you're going to say, well, where, where J. Lou going to start? Bring back J. Lou. I, hmm. Kelly J. Lou digs back. I think you keep J. Lou just for depth. I don't want everybody to put all that pressure on Diggs. Diggs got to come back and be all pro. He coming off ACL. So you, when you have quality corners, you can work Diggs back in slowly. That's what, that's my plan. Um, Dante Fowler Jr. I would love Dante Fowler back. Um, I don't know if he wants to come back. That's the difference. I feel like he loves DQ and he'll rock with DQ. They got to play him, pay him properly. And Dante Fowler was on the low, our third best edge on the team. More production than anybody else. Dante Fowler had a great year. So I would bring him back if he wants to come back. I would. Um, not as great with the, off the run that I, I can remember, but I would bring back Dante Fowler. I like Dante Fowler's year. Um, that don't mean you don't go get another edge. I do want another edge. Um, but I would bring back Dante Fowler if possible if you can't get none in the draft. Um, Noah Igman, Noah I, I'm not even going to try and do his last name and be disrespectful. Let him walk. We ain't, they ain't going to take that long. No big explanation. Just, you can go. Um, Neville Gallimore, silver, man. It's over, dog. It's just over. Haven't seen you do anything since that Washington game two years ago. It's over, Neville. That's, I hate it, but you just, it ain't, it ain't there. It ain't there. And maybe getting cut or not being re-signed by the Cowboys will reinvigorate him. He'll go somewhere and be dominant. But I don't see it. And I wanted to see it. Big Hank, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sign Jonathan Hankins, but go get me another one. Go get me a DJ Reader. I want two veteran D tackles. Two veteran D tackles with Oso Digizua, Mozzie bringing up the rear, and draft one maybe. I want a five D tackle rotation. I want them all to be animals. I'm tired of these tweeners. Only person that can be a tweener is Osa because of his pass rush ability. Everybody else needs to be having some weight on him. So, yes, bring back Jonathan Hankins. I do want him back. C.J. Goodwin, don't even count. C.J. Goodwin is like default. I know he's injured, if I'm not mistaken, but um, and maybe that'll be the, the end of that. But I think you bring back Goodwin, I think. Um, Trent Sig, long snapper. Of course, you bring back your long snapper. Um, Chumi Doga. All right, dog. Salute. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, Rico Dowdle. No. No. Tony Pollard is going to become what Rico Dowdle was. That's how I'm feeling about this running back room. I want Derrick Henry, a young running back, and Tony Pollard. That's how I want to rebuild the running back room. I want those many weapons. You know how like, teams have David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs and then probably a young back behind it? That's what I want. I don't want like just a good back, then like an unknown, and then like, no. I want Henry, Pollard, and a rookie. And they can just battle it out. That type of situation. I don't I want to put effort into running back and in the linebacker. So yeah. Um Sean McEwen. It's between him and Peyton Hendershot. Put a pin in that. I like McEwen. But I feel like Schoolmaker's going to get his spot, and he don't deserve it. He don't deserve it. We'll do another video soon about players I think should just be outright cut. Um, but like I said, we got plenty of time to talk about this stuff. So we'll talk about that. So 
put a pin in McEwen. I might want to bring him back because I might want to cut Schoonmaker because he just was so bad. I don't think he's going to get better. Um, and then Tyler Biatish. Let's end with that. You let him walk. You let him walk. Um, you see a Brock Hoffman can play center. And you you draft a center. Yeah, you draft a center. I ain't playing no games. I think Dallas has seven picks. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Tyler, appreciate you, but you're not getting an extended contract. You're just not. I need more nastiness. I need more of a field general at center. And you've been decent, but I need great. But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about um, some of the players I want to let walk or keep. Um, let me know if I sound crazy or not, but that's just my initial thoughts. Um, yeah, man, tired of waiting. Tired of waiting for, you was Dan Quinn coming back? Now we're going to get to this business now. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. I'll holler.